Elon Musk says this battery will disrupt the auto industry, and it's here. Hello, and welcome to eZero, where we share valuable insights and news about the future of electric mobility. In today's video, we're talking about the new manganese battery, the one that Elon Musk said would disrupt the entire auto industry. But before we get into that, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. So what is the new manganese? Manganese battery. The new manganese battery is a type of lithium ion battery that uses manganese as the main component of the cathode, which is the positive electrode of the battery. Manganese is a metal that is abundant, cheap, and environmentally friendly. It can also improve the performance, safety, and sustainability of batteries. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has been a proponent of using manganese as cathode material in electric vehicle batteries for a long time. He has recently reiterated his preferences during the Tesla Gigafactory Berlin opening ceremony, where he said, I think there's an interesting potential for manganese. Musk also mentioned that Tesla was working on making batteries out of more materials, and that for the foreseeable future, Tesla will focus on nickel-based chemistries for longer-range vehicles, and iron phosphate for shorter-range vehicles. But he added that manganese could be a solution along with nickel and iron-based chemistries. Musk said, at very large scale, we need tens, maybe hundreds of millions of tons, ultimately. So, the materials used to produce these batteries at very large scale need to be common materials, or you can't scale. Why is Elon Musk interested in manganese batteries? Elon Musk is interested in manganese batteries because they offer several advantages over other types of batteries. Let's take a look at some of these advantages. Cost. Manganese batteries are cheaper to produce and maintain than other batteries, as they do not require expensive materials such as cobalt or nickel. Manganese is also widely available and easy to source from different regions. This reduces the production costs and supply chain risks for battery makers. Performance. Manganese batteries can deliver better performance than other batteries, as they have higher power density, faster charging, and better responsiveness. Manganese can also increase the energy density and range of batteries by mixing it with other metals such as nickel or lithium. Manganese can also operate in various weather conditions and altitudes, unlike other batteries which may suffer from reduced performance or efficiency in extreme environments. Safety. Manganese batteries are safer than other batteries, as they have lower risk of overheating, catching fire, or exploding. Manganese is also less toxic and corrosive than other metals, such as cobalt or nickel. This improves the safety and durability of batteries, and reduces the potential harm to humans and the environment. Sustainability. Manganese batteries are more sustainable than other batteries, as they can use renewable manganese produced from water or other sources, reducing the dependence on fossil fuels or mining. Manganese is also easier to recycle than other metals, such as cobalt or nickel. This reduces the environmental impact and waste generation of batteries. How will manganese batteries disrupt the auto industry? Manganese batteries have the potential to disrupt the auto industry by enabling more affordable, efficient, and sustainable electric vehicles (EVs). EVs are one of the driving forces in the new global energy economy that is rapidly emerging, and they are bringing about a historic transformation of the car manufacturing industry worldwide. However, EVs still face some challenges for mass adoption, such as high upfront costs, limited range, long charging times, and insufficient charging infrastructure. Manganese batteries could help overcome these challenges by lowering the price and increasing performance and convenience of EVs. Manganese batteries could also help accelerate the transition to a low carbon and circular economy by reducing the oil demand, greenhouse gas emissions, and waste generation of the transport sector. Manganese batteries could also create new opportunities and markets for renewable energy and battery recycling industries. Manganese batteries are not a new invention. They have been used in various applications for decades, such as consumer electronics, power tools, and electric bikes. However, they have not been widely adopted for EVs due to some technical limitations, such as low voltage, high self-discharge, and poor cycle life. However, recent advancements in battery technology and chemistry have overcome some of these limitations and improved the performance performance and durability of manganese batteries. For example, Tesla has been experimenting with a new battery chemistry that uses two-thirds nickel and one-third manganese, which could increase the cell volume by 50% with the same amount of nickel. Tesla is not the only player in the game. Other automakers and battery makers are also developing and testing their own versions of manganese batteries. For example, Nissan has been using a manganese-rich cathode in its Leaf battery since 2010. LG Chem has been supplying a 
nickel manganese cobalt NMC battery to GM for its Bolt EV since 2016. CATL has been producing a lithium manganese oxide LMO battery for various EV models since 2017. The bottom line is that manganese batteries are here to stay and grow, and they will have profound impacts on the future of mobility and electrification. But what does this mean for other types of batteries, such as lithium ion or solid state? Will manganese batteries replace them or coexist with them? What are the pros and cons of each type of battery? Let's look into it with an in-depth comparison. Lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion batteries are the most common type of batteries used in EVs today. They are based on a liquid electrolyte that allows the flow of current between the positive and negative electrodes. The electrodes are usually made of metal oxides or phosphates that contain lithium ions. Lithium ion batteries have several advantages over other types of batteries. They have high energy density, meaning they can store a lot of energy in a small volume and weight. They also have high power density, meaning they can deliver a lot of power in a short time. They also have long cycle life, meaning they can be recharged many times without losing much capacity. However, lithium ion batteries have some drawbacks. They are expensive to produce and maintain as they require rare and costly materials such as cobalt or nickel. They are also prone to overheating, catching fire, or exploding if they are damaged or suffer from manufacturing defects. They also have limited range and charging speed as they need to be cooled down and balanced during charging. They also have environmental impact as they generate harmful emissions and waste materials such as batteries. Solid state batteries. Solid state batteries are a new type of batteries that use a solid electrolyte instead of a liquid one. The solid electrolyte can be made of ceramics, polymers, or sulfides that conduct ions. The electrodes can be similar to those used in lithium ion batteries or different ones such as lithium metal. Solid state batteries have several advantages over lithium ion batteries. They have higher energy density, meaning they can store more energy in the same volume and weight. They also have higher power density, meaning they can deliver more power in a shorter time. They also have longer cycle life, meaning they can be recharged more times without losing much capacity. But the most important advantage of solid state batteries is their safety. They have lower risk of overheating, catching fire, or exploding if they are damaged or suffer from manufacturing defects. This is because the solid electrolyte is less reactive and flammable than the liquid one. This also improves the durability and reliability of the batteries. However, solid state batteries also have some challenges. They are difficult to produce and scale up as they require complex and precise manufacturing processes and equipment. They are also expensive to produce and maintain as they require high quality materials and components. They also face technical issues such as low ionic conductivity, high interfacial resistance, and poor compatibility between the electrodes and electrolyte. Manganese batteries. Manganese batteries are a type of lithium ion batteries that use manganese as the main component of the cathode, which is the positive electrode of the battery. Manganese is a metal that is abundant, cheap, and environmentally friendly. It can also improve the performance, safety, and sustainability of batteries. Manganese batteries have several advantages over other types of lithium ion batteries. They are cheaper to produce and maintain, as they do not require expensive materials such as cobalt or nickel. They are also safer than other types of lithium ion batteries, as they have lower risk of overheating, catching fire, or exploding if they are damaged or suffer from manufacturing defects. This is because manganese is less toxic and corrosive than other metals, such as cobalt or nickel. This also improves the safety and durability of the batteries. But the most important advantage of manganese batteries is their sustainability. They can use renewable manganese produced from water or other sources, reducing the dependence on fossil fuels or mining. Manganese is also easier to recycle than other metals, such as cobalt or nickel. This reduces the environmental impact and waste generation of batteries. However, manganese batteries also have some limitations. They have lower energy density than other types of lithium ion batteries, meaning they can store less energy in the same volume and weight. They also have lower power density than other types of lithium ion batteries, meaning they can deliver less power in a short time. They also face technical issues such as low voltage, high self-discharge, and poor cycle life.
So which type of battery is the best for EVs? The answer is not so simple, as each type of battery has its own pros and cons, and different applications may require different trade-offs. For example, lithium-ion batteries may be suitable for short-range and urban EVs, where cost and safety are more important than range and performance. Solid-state batteries may be suitable for long-range and high-performance EVs, where range and performance are more important than cost and scalability. Manganese batteries may be suitable for medium range and eco-friendly EVs, where sustainability and affordability are more important than energy and power density. The bottom line is that there is no one-size-fits-all solution for EV batteries. The future of mobility and electrification will likely involve a mix of different types of batteries, depending on the needs and preferences of consumers and manufacturers. The new manganese battery, the one that Elon Musk said would disrupt the entire auto industry, is finally here, and it could be a game-changer for some segments of the EV market. But it is not the only game in town, and it will have to compete with other types of batteries that have their own strengths and weaknesses. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and interesting. If you did, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the new manganese battery and the future of EVs.